Today we're going to go over how to solve equations that have multiplication or division in them. Then you'll have a chance to practice them on your own. Let's look at the first problem, 3x equals 12. Now I know what you might be thinking, where's the multiplication here? Well, you're probably used to writing multiplication as an x, but this becomes messy if we try and write something like 3 times x, because now there are these two x's next to each other. So sometimes people will write multiplication in different ways. Sometimes multiplication is written like this, 3 times x. But more commonly, it's just written as 3x. All of these are simply ways of showing 3 times x. So in our equation, 3 times x equals 12, we need to cancel out the multiplication. Well, in equations, the way that we cancel multiplication is with division. So here we're going to divide by 3. Now when we're writing in equations, it's helpful to show division in its fraction form. So we'll put it as over 3, meaning divided by 3. Now why do we do this to cancel multiplication, you may wonder? Well, let's think about what we have. You could read our equation now as 3 times x divided by 3. And if we just swap the order, now it reads as 3 divided by 3 times x. And you know that 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 1 times x, that's just the same as x. So this is all just a long way of saying that you could use division to cancel out multiplication. You're just left with the x. But remember, when we do something to one side of an equation, we have to do it to the other side. So if we're going to divide the left side by 3, we have to divide the 12 by 3. Well, what is 12 divided by 3? 12 divided by 3 is 4, and so in this equation, x equals 4. Now let's look at an equation that involves division. We'll look at x over 3 equals 12. Remember that x over 3 really means x divided by 3. We're just writing the division in fraction form. Well, the way that you cancel division is by using multiplication. So here, in x over 3, we'll just multiply it by 3. Well, if you're wondering why this works, you might notice that what we have is really 3 over 3. And you know 3 over 3 is a fraction equal to 1. The other way to think about it is you have x divided by 3. When you add a times 3 in there, now you end up with 3 divided by 3, which is 1. And x times 1 is just x. So when we multiply by 3, our division cancels out, and we're left with just x. But remember, when we do something to one side of an equation, we have to do it to the other. So we have to multiply the 12 times 3. What is 12 times 3? It's 36. And so here, x equals 36. Let's do some of these together. Let's look at the equation 7x equals 10. Well, what does 7x really mean? 7x really means 7 times x. And remember, how can we cancel multiplication? Well, we cancel multiplication with division, so we'll take 7 times x and divide by 7. Now this cancels out, leaving us with just x. But what do we have to do now? We have to do the same thing to the other side, so we end up with 10 divided by 7. Now don't worry, we're not actually going to have to do any complicated division. Because we've written this in fraction form, we can just take this as our answer. x is equal to 10 sevenths. Let's do another together. Let's look at the equation x over 4 equaling negative 5. Well, what does x over 4 really mean? It really means x divided by 4. And how should we cancel out this division? Well, we cancel division using multiplication. So we're going to take x over 4 and multiply it by 4. Be that 4 over 4 will cancel out, leaving us with just x. Now we must do it to the other side. We have negative 5 times 4. What does that equal? Negative 5 times 4 just gives us negative 20. Now it's time for you to try some of these on your own. Let's look at the equation 10x equals 80. Solve this on your own. What does x equal? Well, this is showing 10 times x. So to cancel the multiplication, we divide. Divide by 10. 10 divided by 10 will cancel out. So we're left with just x. Now we have to do it to the other side. 80 divided by 10, that'll just give us 8. And here's our last problem for this video. 
x over 5 equals 3. Solve this on your own. What does x equal? Well, here we have x divided by 5. To cancel the division, we have to multiply, so we'll multiply by 5. Now the 5 over 5 is going to cancel out. We're left with just x. And now all we have to do is the same thing on the other side. Multiply by 5. 3 times 5 is simply 15. So for today, remember, use multiplication to cancel division, use division to cancel multiplication, and finally, when you're showing division, show it as a fraction.